Welcome again, everyone, to Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny shot of daily crypto news headlines. I'm your host, Andrew, and, uh, all right, no holiday or notable callouts to make for the intro today. It's just Thursday. All right. More than $320 million worth of cryptocurrency has been stolen after an audacious hack targeting Wormhole, a protocol that connects Solana and Ethereum blockchains. About 120,000 wrapped Ethereum tokens were taken, and the project has promised to pay the hacker $10 million if they return the funds. Although users have been assured that their funds are safe, the hack has rocked the price of Solana, which has fallen by over 14% in the past 24 hours. Meta's share price is on course for the worst day in its history after the tech giant gave a grim update on its performance and revealed eye-watering losses in its metaverse division. Throughout 2021, Reality Labs took a net loss of $10.19 billion, and even bigger losses are expected in 2022. And to make matters worse, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp are struggling to compete with TikTok in the battle for those hip, younger users. Shares are down 23%, wiping $200 billion off the company's value. Bitcoin could be bottoming out within the next few months, according to Fundstrat. Analyst Mark Newton says there are signs that the cryptocurrency is stabilizing, but it's still too early to confirm Bitcoin is out of the woods just yet. He regards $40,000 as a crucial level that bulls need to reclaim for continued upward momentum and warns that a return to $35,000 could result in a painful retest at $33,000. It's tough to rule out further weakness, technically speaking, Newton says. And finally, Texas is on the brink of an arctic blast that is forcing crypto miners to suspend their operations, raising questions about the state's viability to serve as a Bitcoin mining hub. Last fall, Governor Greg Abbott requested executives to power down during the cold winter months to stop the electricity grid from being overloaded. The state is hoping to avoid a repeat of the carnage last seen in February 2021, which left 10 million citizens without power. Riot Blockchain is among those temporarily ceasing operations. And speaking of operations, you should operate that like button, subscribe button, and that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. It really does help out our little YouTube operation. <laughs> Another task that hopefully won't overload the Texas power grid is asking Alex in the description below if you have any questions about our headlines or crypto in general. Again, I've been your host, Andrew. This has been Crypto Espresso, and we'll see ya tomorrow.